Good afternoon, Blue Beamers. My name is Troy DeGroat with U Chapter 2, and I'm excited to partner with the team at Brighter Graphics to deliver world class Bluebeam training and customization services so you can get the most out of your Bluebeam investment. And then the last one we'll show you is our um, storefront glass or curtain wall glass. On this project, we're looking at an elevation view of the building. Uh, in this case, you can see my custom tools over here. I've got storefront. Uh, this particular customer wanted an area measurement to measure um, the total square footage for install purposes. So they're pricing the install according to the square footage of the whole thing. So we've got storefront, curtain wall, and just regular windows have different prices. And here you can see storefront install I traced that whole orange area. And then we've got joints. So I set these up rather than clicking on each side of each of these horizontals, I built a tool so that I could place one in the middle and it represents both. So it's two per markup. So you save a little clicking there. I've got different ones for storefront and different ones for curtain walls. So I just built these to say storefront joint. Then we look at the different types of glass. I've got storefront glass and curtain wall glass. Um, again, just gave it generic names because the glass is going to be different every project. If you look over here, we've got some tempered glass across the bottom. So that doesn't break. And then regular glass across the top. And it's going to give us all of our quantities down here. Different types of glass. I can click on the subject. And it will tell me um, curtain wall G1, glass type 1. There's four pieces of that. And it gives me my total square footage of that as well. And then we also built in here some fun... Uh, formulas for um, fabrication time and the installs and then we actually went in and figured out including waste uh, how many tubes of caulking we would need according to the glass because all of these area measurements it's also giving you the perimeter and we multiplied the perimeter of each one of these times too so there's caulking on the inside and the outside so it's figuring out not only the glass, the fabrication time, the installation time, the caulking quantity, um, the joints, all of that stuff is being calculated with just a few markups here. And then we built a uh, number thus. So if there's five of these same storefronts on different walls throughout the, the building, we can just say five thus and it'll multiply everything times five for our quantities. One thing I also like to show with this one is um, an idea that I had a while back for a different way to use spaces. And uh, normally it's used for punch walks and things like that to locate where markups are. So you can see what markups are in each room, what um, what work needs to be done with those punch items or those stagging lists. Uh, what I did was kind of I'm tricking it to use my spaces tool and I just trace or I draw a space around that whole storefront and I'm going to give it a mark number. So I'm going to call this storefront 10 and hit OK. And if I look at my markups list down here, now you can see for my storefront 10, the mark number I gave it, I have 15 elements, 15 different parts that are in that assembly. I gave that assembly a mark number, and these are all my individual pieces. So I used the spaces tool to create assemblies in my estimate. I hope you learned a thing or two. You can apply it to your work immediately. Uh, if you have any questions regarding training or customization services for your company, 
Don't hesitate to reach out to the team at Brighter Graphics or myself. Uh, we'd be happy to help you with those.